Yes, this is Aztec 101 in the ring. And um, this is a response to D-style boxing and uh, blood boxing. So this is in regards to uh, Same Day Wayne, right? Both of you seem really passionate, uh, thinking that, you know, this is going to solve the problem of, you know, bigger fighters fighting smaller fighters, right? Um, personally, uh, here's the thing. I, I don't know if both of you know this. I don't know if anybody told you guys this, but we are not born into weight classes. People are not born into weight classes, right? So what does that mean? Meaning, making weight, regardless of the weight classes, whether it's the original weight classes or the new junior and supers that were added, making weight, the idea to make weight, regardless whether it's the day before or the day of, is not natural. These guys, regardless whether it's a pound, an ounce, or 10 pounds, are dehydrating themselves to fit the mold. But I don't know if you guys realize this, but we are not created equal. Not everyone is the same. People come in different sizes, but they still want to compete. Therefore, there's multiple weight classes. And the weight classes that we have now, adjusted to the amount of people that participate in the sport. Obviously, starting off, they had limited weight classes. The more people that came in, the more people willing to fight, the more weight classes we saw. You know, D-style boxing, I, don't, I, I have a few questions because it doesn't seem to fit the solution. When you bring up same-day weigh-in and then saying that there should be less weight classes. Think about it. I don't know if, how many people on here can have critical thinking. But having that, is, 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 it defeats the purpose. Because you're going to have guys coming in trying to make weight to fit in the division. While you have other guys that are going to walk in naturally. Same day. Without the ability to rehydrate. Right? Um, what does that mean? What does that mean? means you're still going to have motherfuckers fighting. That are different sizes. Except. One guy is going to be dehydrated. Somehow that's going to be fucking better for the sport. Somehow that's going to make shit more competitive, right? It's not. It's not going to fix anything. Let's move backwards. Football. You know, let's bring the leather helmets back. That works. Right? You know what? Fuck it. Let's take weight classes out. There's too many. Why have them? You know, the change, and I understand, blood boxing, blood boxing, you, you kind of pointed this out in, in your video, you kind of made it into, well, you know what, the only reason why they made the decision to change the weight, weigh in 24 hours prior to the fight is because of the Spinks fight where, you know, his opponent came in heavy, he didn't want to fight him, fight got canceled, you know, that was a big mess. The network lost a lot of money, right? But in your head, you're going, fuck the network, right? Fuck them. Blood boxing, like, like the, the TV, I, 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 know, I, I know I'm going to sound like an asshole right now, but the TV that you have in your living room, it's, it's not, shit doesn't pop in there because of magic, Right? It's not a fucking little fairy behind there. A little pixie dust and then you get to see whatever you want. Shit's up there because there was money spent by a network to put it up there. Okay? Your ass didn't have to walk to the stadium. 
You didn't go to the stadium. You didn't go pay a ticket to go watch the fight. You're watching it from home. And the reason why that's happening is because there's money invested into it. Oh, fuck the network. Right, fuck the network. The network isn't showing t- boxing. Where the fuck are you going to watch it? I hope I'm hitting your common sense area. I hope so. Because <laughs> I know you're intelligent. But, you know, it, 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. If if you guys really believe that same, same day weigh-ins would have stopped Canelo and Khan from happening, uh, you're delusional. Because... You know, yeah, there's Henry Armstrong, and there's people that want to be like him, move up in the weights. Some of the most well-respected fighters moved up in weight. Everyone wants to be Roberto Duran, right? But there's thousands of fighters that attempted to be them and failed. Khan just happened to be one of those fighters. That shit happens all the time. Thankfully, it happened against a respected fighter, or at least someone with skills, not necessarily respected, because it seems as though everything that he does seems to be, you know, uh, <laughs> this guy's this guy's completely fucking everything up. He's great in his own division. He's 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 doing whatever he wants. You know, he he has freedom. <laughs> he has freedom. How dare he? His job is to go in there and punch. Not fucking make decisions. Right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, let, let, let's be realistic. Um, fine. You know, bring back same day Wayne. Right? To me, I, I don't think that having dehydrated fighters somehow betters the sport I don't think that I I, honestly I think that having less divisions will make it more obvious that smaller fighters are fighting bigger fighters to me it seems backwards but you know to you guys that seems like the, the 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 solution so where am I wrong where 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 am I missing the point, can you guys help me out? This is less of me, you know, talking shit, but mostly kind of being honest and telling you guys what I'm thinking and, you know, hoping that there's some clarification because common sense to me is telling me that same day weigh-ins isn't really going to do shit about what you guys are mad about. This is Aztec 101 in the ring and I'm out.